Hello everyone, welcome to the Mifra Tech YouTube channel. Today we are going to explain another new project called Railway Reservation Master. In this project, Railway Reservation Master should be able to manage all the reservations and their related functions. In this project, we have seeing any functionalities, each zone, train schedules and their availability. Here the administrator should be able to enter any change or any related functions like change in a train number, train name or any other reservation of the seat etc. And the PNR number and the waiting list also. Here we use it as PHP MySQL as a backend and CSS HTML as the objective of the online railway reservation master project is to design software to fully automate the process of issuing a railway ticket. Here are some of the objectives. Here uh, we can say creation of a database of the trains also and to search the trains its arrival and departure time, distance between the source and destination, to check the availability of the ticket to calculate fare and to book the ticket. Lastly, to cancel the ticket if necessary. Before we starting a project, make sure the exam control panel is installed in your computer. What is exam control panel? It is a management tool that offers to supervise the action of individual components of exam and it will manage to test the project with the language of Apache, MySQL, Tomcat and many more options. Here in for this project we have to create a database. So I will use the MySQL. Here you can see a start button and a Apache. For creating a database the administration page we want. So here MySQL, the admin, you, uh, you have to click here the admin button. A admin button, you have been redirect to a administration page, local host, PHP MyAdmin, where you want to create a database of your project here. Before that, make sure the project file must be copied to the exam PhD docs folder. Let's do the uh, that operation first. Go to the project folder. My project folder is here. Railway reservation master. I will copy the file. And where the exam is located and the HD docs folder is. I have made a path as local disk C, exam and htdocs, paste it here. Yes, after this the project file has been successfully pasted. See the .sql file, the database file, what the database file name is, here you can see railway reservation master <coughs> copy the railway reservation name or keep in the mind then go back to the administrator page here you have seen a several things here databases sql status and many more other here you click a databases in the top left corner. You can see a create database where you have to create your database with the database name as you have been given to the file creation of the database. Okay, my file is railway reservation. I will create a database as the same name. Okay, next. Here you can enter a SQL commands because I have created a database file. I will import directly here. You can see here, browser file to import, choose a file. 
where you have been copied the file project Yes, now the file has been chosen. In bottom left, you can see a go button, press on that. After importing in a .sql file, now you have to test a project, like run a project. Open a new tab. We have run in the exam server, so the name is localhost slash the project file name railway reservation master here you can see a home page and a login page also here railway reservation master is like an admin so we want to login as an administrator admin go back to the what the SQL file has been imported. Here you can see a user details like administrator details. Okay, you have seen there are a six administrator. So login with one name, one admin. Yes, now you have seen in a index page of the railway reservation master. Here you can see a four boxes like 20 number of trains available, number of tickets booked, number of cancelled tickets and total money spent. In the left corner, same the book tickets, my bookings, cancel tickets and a view profile. Let's check it out the view profile. The administrator was Danu and here is the administrator mobile number. Let's now book a ticket one, one. book now. Yes, select a station where from I will select as some of one station Bangalore Central to the Goa. Let me make a submit. Okay, here you can see now the which train is available. The train number, train name, from which station to station, and what is the number of the halts, and the actions like a book now or withheld, etc. I will ready to book now. Okay. Here the passenger details has been asking choose date choose coach i will choose the date choose coach ac passenger details i will give as a passenger and passenger age and a gender add passenger you can add a more passenger details here by entering in a date and a passenger details I will add one more another passenger okay I will click a submit here you can see a pop-up ticket booked successfully with the two number of the passengers. Let's view the tickets. Yes, here you can see a ticket ID 
we have booked from bangalore to bangalore central to goa the start date and the total amount and booked let's now see a cancellation of the tickets what we have booked okay there is only one ticket available here okay let's check as a cancel yes here you can see ticket cancelled successfully